How's it going everyone? My name is Case and on this episode of TFL Bike, we're taking a look at something that just showed up at our office. This is a brand new Indian Challenger Limited. This is a $27,999 bagger, but it's not your everyday bagger because there are some high performance upgrades on this bike that you don't usually find on something this size. So let's go ahead, walk around it and take a look. Now, one of the coolest things that you see right off the bat is up front. You have two Brembo brakes and just getting Brembo dual discs on the front end of a bike like this, that's pretty cool. But something else you might not have noticed, it has inverted forks. So it's not just a big powerful muscle car of a bike. They've actually done some work to make the suspension here considerably more high performance than what you typically get on this kind of vehicle. In the back, well, you can't see it because of all this bodywork, but there is a hydraulically adjustable Fox monoshock there, and underneath the rest of this bodywork, a lightweight cast aluminum frame. Here in the middle, the highlight of all of this is a 1768 cc V-twin. It has four valves per cylinder, it's water-cooled, which makes it better for heavily trafficked highway riding, and total output, 122 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque. So even though this huge bike weighs a total of 840 pounds with a full tank of fuel, it has plenty of power and torque to move all of that mass down the road. Now, part of what makes this a particularly expensive motorcycle is the massive amount of technology that Indian has thrown in here. And one of the biggest parts of that is right up in front of the fuel tank. Let's check it out. This is basically a ride command system similar to what you would find in a lot of Polaris side-by-sides. And it's got tons and tons of features. Now, once we do a full review of this motorcycle, we'll dive into really all of the features that you get on the screen, all of the rest of the technology features, including cornering ABS, traction control, drag torque control. But for the time being, if we just take a quick look, you can see we've got a Bluetooth function, which allows you to play music. Of course, you have 100 watt speakers up front here. So you should be able to play at a pretty considerable volume. You can also scroll through a good amount of riding info. Now there's a lot of buttons on this bike that let you scroll through different parts of the menu, including even a trigger on the back of your controls here. And that cycles through a number of your different screens that give you information on the bike, such as tire pressure, how much range you have left, temps and really everything that you need to know and again that's something that we'll dive into a little deeper when we do a full review now below some of these speakers you can see on each side you get a cubby this side has a little USB over here there is a spot where you can connect either a heated vest or heated gloves and even look at this you've got like a little bit of uh, aero almost right there. Now something that actually makes the front end of this bike really unique is this power windshield. So you push up on this button right here and that comes up automatically. So if you're riding on the highway, you can use that to try and find a nice pocket of calm air, especially if it's cold outside like it will be when we're probably doing a lot of riding here in January in the state of Colorado. Looking here at the key for this motorcycle, it pretty much looks like a car key and it's got lock and unlock on it. And when you hit lock, everything is basically shut down and you can't get access to these saddlebags back here. When you hit unlock, there you go, you've got access and it's a decent amount of storage. So if you're going on a long ride and you need to bring maybe an overnight bag, if you're camping somewhere, riding on the highway long distance, that gives you plenty of storage. So those are some of the most basic tech features. And again, we'll dive into it a lot deeper when we do the full review. And to you, it might sound ridiculous that Indian is making a 840 pound bagger with all of these performance upgrades and technology like ABS with cornering control, but 
there have actually been a couple racing series with big baggers like these. One that's called King of the Baggers. And in 2020, the Indian Challenger won King of the Baggers. So it's a pretty cool racing series. Uh, it's astonishing watching some of these massive heavy motorcycles go around the track the way that they do, especially when they're fully race modified. Watching one of these go past someone riding full speed on a sport bike is a sight to see. So definitely go do a little research and check that out if you haven't seen anything on that. Now, in the meantime, I wanna hop on this motorcycle and just give you a first impression of how it feels. Unsurprisingly, it feels heavy. You can really tell when it starts to lean one way or another. You've got to pay attention to that because it can uh, it could get out of hand if you're not ready for it. But overall, the ergonomics of sitting on it feel really nice. You have a large platform for your foot to sit on, which means you can move around a little bit and uh, kind of get the blood flowing again in your leg if you've been sitting on the motorcycle for a long time on the highway. The seat is nice, it's plush, it's not super, super squishy, but you get some support at your lower back, which means overall, riding this thing on the highway, I think you'd be able to go for a long time without feeling uncomfortable. And that is something that we're going to test because of course, this is a highway bike. We need to get it out on the highway and really see how it does over a long distance. And let us know in the comments what all you want to see us do with this motorcycle. That is, of course, a test that's going to be very necessary, but there's potentially some other interesting things that we could do. Maybe do like a little MPG test. We could compare it to some other smaller motorcycles. Uh, I'm trying to convince Alex to get this out on the track, but I don't think he's going to do it, and I don't blame him because riding a bike this size on the track would be terrifying. We could also do a test and see how comfortable it is for a second person to be sitting on this motorcycle because uh, the seat setup looks a little interesting for the second person who's on here. You know, there's there's this loop that they can potentially grab onto, but it, it kind of seems like there's not a whole lot of, of body work or anything around the passenger. So we might have to give a, give a little gander to what it's like to be on the back of this motorcycle. And we're definitely also gonna have to test out the audio system. I'm interested to see how loud it gets. And being that you're riding down the road and not enclosed, I'm sure it gets pretty loud. How's it going everyone? This is Case from TFL Bike with our Ride Smarter Tip of the Month brought to you by Rider Justice. We all know riding two up is one of the great aspects of riding a motorcycle. But did you know that your insurance may not cover your passenger or that insurance coverage can differ if your passenger is married to you or not? Or that your passenger may not be covered if you cause the accident? Neither did I. That's why you want to make sure you carry a healthy amount of uninsured slash underinsured coverage, as well as liability insurance. Shoot for at least $250,000 of uninsured coverage and more if you can afford it. On most premiums, that works out to a couple extra bucks a year, and it's worth it to protect you and the ones you love. To learn more about how to ride smarter with common sense tips anyone can follow, Go to riderjustice.com, the champions of biker rights, on the road, in the courtroom, and now across the country. One area where I think Indian does a really great job is in terms of design. And even if you're not into baggers that much, you have to admit that there's some really cool details here. The black and the gray with this logo have pretty subtle contrast, but it looks nice, it looks minimal. Moving down to the engine here, I think Indian makes some of the coolest looking engine blocks and engine covers because it's this nice blend of modern looking details like this polished section with a gray, more modern and minimalist looking block design and just the combination of retro and, and modern, it works really well right here. You've also got a dual exhaust which connects right here on the right side of the bike, but actually splits off underneath. So you have two pipes coming out the back. So it's two to one to two exhaust. And let's go ahead and give it a listen because this big twin makes a nice rumble. <laughs>
Anyways, that's all for this quick video. Be sure to stay tuned to TFL Bike because we're gonna do a lot more with this particular Indian Challenger. Get it out on the road and really dig into all of its genuinely cool features. We'll see you in the next one. This is like the smallest helmet in the world. Also, as a side note, uh, I've only gotten so far to ride this bike basically right around our office, but uh, this thing is quick. <laughs> Be sure to stay tuned because we're going to put this thing to the test.